Now the fourth tip is to get people excited. Now when you are selling your proposal, your solution to your real world problem, you want people to feel excited about what you're going to sell. Because I mean, you spend so many months trying to come up with this idea, this solution, and you want people to know what you have worked on for so long. Use GIFs, use the visuals, use all the diagrams that you have created into your slide and get people to see what you have to show. So we're going to take a look at a case study where there's a lot of wastage of fresh produce. The WR here came up with a solution of using VR to create empathy amongst the audience who are attending their roadshow so that they can understand better about fresh produce wastage. But again, as we see in the WR here, it has a very neutral and academic tone, right? It merely talks about why they want to use VR, how they will use the VR. So people will enter in groups of 10, they watch videos, and, and then they explain why having a 360 degree virtual tour is important. And they also mention the stakeholder that will help them to create this experience. So we don't want to sell the VR experience in this manner, right? We want to use words and phrases which keeps people excited. So the script might look something like this. So you see how the script starts off with... One of the key highlights of our roadshow is the VR experience. Sounds interesting, right? I think so too. So this is how you engage the audience by asking a question and like, hey, see, nice, right? So you are trying to make them be a little bit more excited about what you're trying to say. And you add in this personal touch by saying, I think so too, yeah. And the presenter even asked the audience, before I tell you more about it, can I just have a show of hands? How many of you have experienced wearing VR headsets to watch a movie or video before? So again, it engages the audience even more because you are making, you are making them recall when was the last time they held a VR headset. And if they did, then they'll probably be more interested to hear what you have to say. And if they don't, then they'll be even more curious as to how this VR experience will work. And the presenter reassures the audience by saying, no worries if you haven't, come to our roadshow and you will get to experience it yourself. So there's the use of I and the use of you, so that increases the engagement with the audience. And then, just add a little bit of humour, the presenter says, sadly you're not going to be watching a video on Jurassic Park. And then you have this GIF of Jurassic Park, just the moving GIF, tells you a lot about what the VR experience is like and how this is going to be very different than let's say using photos or using regular videos in the roadshow. Sadly, you're not going to watch a video, you're watching a video on Jurassic Park and there's even this X sign to show that this is not what you're going to be seeing but rather a more meaningful video. And then you have a GIF of the Samakau landfill which will help you to empathize with the severity of fresh produce wastage problem. Okay, and then you have the tick. So this is where the presenter immediately catches your attention, makes you visualize what the VR experience will be like. It may not be as exciting as Jurassic Park, but it will send a very strong message across. The presenter explains further about the VR experience. They will learn about how fresh produce is harvested, wasted, and end up at the Sumaco landfill. So this slide immediately visualizes the narrative of the VR experience using a chart. And finally, the presenter ends lightheartedly by saying, imagine an avalanche of food waste falling on you. Scary, isn't it? So not only this is humorous, but at the same time, it helps the audience visualize how the VR experience will engulf them with trash. And it sends a message across about how the Sumakao landfill is where all the fresh produce waste will go to. And it is scary. Scary, isn't it? Such an experience will definitely help you better understand the severity of this problem and touch the hearts of both you and I. So in summary, this presenter has done three things. The first one is using language of you and I. Secondly, creating phrases that excite the audience, like saying, sounds interesting, right? I think so too. No worries if you haven't. You're not going to be watching Jurassic Park, but a more meaningful video. Scary, isn't it? Right? So these are things that you usually say to your friend when you're trying to tell them, when you're trying to invite them to join you in something exciting. So use the same language in your script.